The Legends series of Pokemon is still really new. We've only had one official game so far, and the next one is coming soon. 2025, we're getting Pokemon Legends ZA, which I am stoked for. I remember when they announced ZA back a couple, six months ago, seven months ago, whatever it was, I was shocked. It was a total curveball. I was not expecting them to give us a Gen 6 game, let alone another Legends title. I really thought they were just going to announce something kind of totally random, maybe like Black and White related or Generation 5 related. I, I don't know. I was not expecting another Legends game. But I think this is great. I think the Legends series is so good for Pokemon, for Nintendo, for Game Freak. I think it's perfect. It's a perfect way to give us a different point of view, a different perspective of the world of Pokemon. If you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and comment what you want to see in Legends ZA. Like what Pokemon do you want to see, what Megas. It could be anything. It really goes a long way, and I really appreciate any support. First of all, Legends Arceus is 100% my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch. I think it's just so innovative. I think it's just refreshing. It's a new formula that really delivered, in my opinion. Like, I, I love Legends Arceus. Also, I'm sorry if I say Arceus and Arceus. I, I have always said Arceus because some people have commented that it's annoying that I say Arceus. But I'm pretty sure it was officially, like, originally Arceus. And then I think, I think it was, like, people in Australia kind of found it offensive because of the first half of that word. Sounds like something else. That's a, that's a bad word in Australia, if you know what I'm saying. I don't want to get demonetized, so I'm not going to say anything. But I'm trying to get in the habit of saying Arceus. So every time I say Arceus, just know that I, I'm trying to get used to saying Arceus because, you know, it's technically officially what it is now. But but I, I was so shocked with Legends Arceus. Like, I didn't expect to like it that much. My only complaint about Legends Arceus was the introduction. I think the intro to the game was just way too long. Like, the, like, like showing us how to play the game, that took way too long. But other than that, the game was perfect, in my opinion. Well, almost perfect. You could always improve. You could, I think you could always improve some things. But that game is by far my favorite Pokemon game on the Switch. I think it's just so thoroughly, comprehensively made. And it was a shocking game to come out to me because it was something like unlike we've ever seen, right? I'm not hating on the original Pokemon games, like, I absolutely love Pokemon on the Game Boy, the DS, you know, the 3DS era of Pokemon. I love it before the 3D animations and everything, like, I, I'm not saying anything poor about that, but these open world style Pokemon games, such as Legends Arceus, Arceus, my bad, or Legends ZA coming out soon, and kind of Scarlet and Violet, you know, if you set aside all the lag and the glitches and the random stuff and kind of the empty world with Scarlet and Violet, let's just pretend that game was a little better. This is kind of how I and a lot of people have imagined how Pokemon would be in the future, you know what I mean? Like, these are always the games that I wanted to play as a kid. Like I said, though, I still love the original games. Like, my favorite Pokemon game is Black and White. I'm not saying anything against the original stuff because it's fantastic. Like, th those are 10 out of 10 games, some of the first couple generations of Pokemon. But we're moving into a point of time where... They have to kind of advance, and I hope, I do hope that one day they give us, you know, the original style of Pokemon, like the 2D animation, whatever. I really hope they, they give us a game like that again in the future, and I think that they will, but I think for now, they're, they're really trying to push Pokemon forward. They're going to give us the open world games for probably most games going forward, you know what I mean? I thought the mechanics were so good, and Legends Arceus just really felt like I lived in a real Pokemon world, and I was genuinely, like and I was just exploring everything for the first time, and I think that the the concept of Legends is so cool because it gives us the opportunity to go back past, you know, previous generations of Pokemon, regions that we've already visited, and we get a different storyline in that region. Like, Legends EA is going to be based in Lumio City, which is very interesting, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about, like, kind of their cities in a, in a second here, but... And we're going back to like old regions that we visited and get a whole new storyline, which I think is so cool because Legends Arceus was a Gen 4 game. I'm pretty sure it was like a sub island or some type of thing within the Sinnoh region. It took place in the Hisui region, which I, like I said, I believe was actually in the Sinnoh region. So I thought that was awesome. And it was so cool that we had like different starters, regional variants of the starters. I just thought that game was so cool. And with Legends ZA, we're going back to the Kalos region, which I loved the Kalos region. I loved Generation 6, X and Y. I remember when I played those games for the first time on my 3DS back in, what was it, like 20... Was it 2013 or 14 those games came out? I don't even remember at this point because everything's just going way too fast. But it's just so cool because we get to go back to the Kalos region and Lumio City. And what, what I'm excited about for this game is just like the scale. The scale of the cities is going to be so different. Right here I'm putting on the screen. This is concept artwork from Diamond and Pearl or Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl I guess I should say. Which 
I think this is going to be more so how Legends EA is going to look with the scale of the cities being way different. Like, you're going to actually, like, the city's going to be huge rather than the city in past Pokemon games only being, like, four buildings. You know what I mean? Like, you could walk into a brand new city in Pokemon, you know, Silver or something, and there's, like, ten buildings, which, once again, I'm not hating on Pokemon Silver. It's a great game. But... With Legends EA, the scale is going to be so different. I think it's going to be super ambitious. In my opinion, the Legends series is more of like a daring series. You know what I mean? Like they're they're trying to change up the formula. And if they're going to do, and if their plan is to give us more open world games rather than you know like a 2D or linear game style, I think the Legends series is perfect for that because it's it's still mainline. They're still amazing games, but they're not taking away from like the Generation 10 or you know what I mean? Like it's still so cool and what i'm curious to know is like if legend z is going to be the scrap storyline or something for pokemon z because i'm pretty sure pokemon z was supposed to come out like they plan on pokemon z coming out after x and y correct me if i'm wrong i believe they even started development of that game and they scrapped it like i'm pretty sure they were they literally started developing pokemon z back in the day and just didn't want to they just changed their mind i guess I think because kind of like the failure of black and white 2 you know what i mean like they didn't sell as many copies so maybe they're afraid to you know, give us another third game for X and Y, if that makes sense. Because they used to do third games all the time. There was always a third game. But the third game, I believe, always sold the worst, which is kind of makes sense. But the third games typically throughout history have been the best ones, like Pokemon Platinum. People prefer Platinum over Diamond and Pearl. The Legend series just offers so many brand new things. New ways to catch Pokemon, new ways to see Pokemon, new ways to explore an open world game with it's a, it's a whole fresh take on the, the original pokemon formula that i think they killed it with legends arceus and compared to scarlet and violet like i don't know how scarlet and violet came out after legends arceus because legends arceus was so much better in almost every single aspect like don't get me wrong i still really enjoyed scarlet and violet and i actually put in a lot of hours in scarlet and violet somehow i managed to put like double the hours in a scarlet and violet than i did with legends arceus which is kind of crazy to think about because i really enjoyed arceus more What's interesting about the Legend series, though, is it seems like in every game going forward, it's going to be like one central town, like one central hub is where we're going to basically be taking place. Uh, and what I mean by that is like in Legends Arceus, we had Jubilife Village, right? We didn't have a ton of different cities. Like, yeah, there were like little huts here and there, but like there were no other like cities in that game, if that makes sense. Jubilife Village is like our main hub. What's interesting, though, is like the map felt pretty big i just think it's so interesting because in legends yeah it seems like our central hub in that is going to be lumio city and we're going to be able to explore hopefully some wildlife i know the game is supposed to take place completely in lumio city but there's got to be some type of way that we're going to be going out into the wilderness you know what i mean like i can't imagine the entire game 100 taking place in the city which obviously the main storyline will take place in the city but there's got to be something you know what i mean we can't just only be in the city but so with the future Legends games, it's like, where are they going to take place? Like, I hope Legends Kyurem comes out one day because that would be, first of all, that'd be awesome. But like, where, where, like what city would be like the central hub? So it would definitely have to take place in the Unova region, but like it would probably be some like either specific city or some sub part that we haven't seen in Pokemon Black and White or Black and White 2, like some type of island or something like that. Like similarly to how the Blueberry Academy was apparently in Unova, like that was actually in the Unova region. But obviously we weren't able to actually go to like the Unova region as we know it. I just think that the Legends series is super ambitious and I can't wait to see what they're going to do in the future for Legends. It would be cool if we got like a brand new Legends game, you know, every four years, every five years because Legends Arceus came out early 2022, which was kind of interesting that we got that game in early 2022. It, that, that was a crazy year. We got like Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl really in late 2021 and like three months later we got it was like two or three months later we got legends arceus and then skip forward another nine months we got scarlet and violet that was crazy it was literally like one whole 365 days three brand new mainline pokemon games that was in a crazy time but obviously with scarlet and violet that showed because scarlet and violet just had so many performance issues hopefully they fix that though i really i, I think with all the news about game freak they're hiring new people, they made a new studio and all that. I really I really am hopeful for the future of Pokemon, and especially with the new Switch console, the Switch 2, whatever they're going to call it. Graphics are going to be better, 
I'm hoping that once we get an announcement, official announcement of the next console, then right after that, we're going to get the next official trailer for Legend Z. I really think that's what they're doing. I think they're going to wait for the Switch 2 reveal, and then we're going to get more gameplay, hopefully a gameplay trailer of Legend Z. Like imagine like a five minute gameplay trailer. That would be insane. And I'm really looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think though. I personally love the Legend series. I'm so looking forward to the future games. How do you guys like the Legend series and how do you guys feel about the future of Pokemon? If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video.